Hello and happy Saturday, everyone. Here I am. I am Laquita Joseph with Laquita Joseph. Um, you got me all disbobbigated today. <laughs> yes, with Laquita Joseph um, Enterprises. You know, I do so much stuff. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of all the things I'm doing, but you know that I do provide real estate services as well as life coaching services. So I'm just here and I want to make sure my live is going. I think it's going. Okay, there we go. I think it's going. So tonight, again, this is my 21 day challenge. And I am basically today talking about probate sales once again. And today I'm talking about, you know, how do you know if you are authorized to sell a property that is in probate? So it's going to be a quick topic, um, pretty simple, but just wanted to make sure that you understand what you need in order to sell that property. So first of all, when you're in the probate process and you have been authorized as the executor, and um, as I explained before, you know, as an executor, that means that there was a will in the estate. And if you're not an executor, that means you were appointed as an administrator and the and so therefore the court appointed you to oversee the um, assets of the deceased. So in this case, um, so basically if you're the executor of the estate, um, what the court will do, they will issue you a letter of testamentary. That's what it's called, a letter of testamentary. That is if you are the executor. If you are not the executor, then the court will issue you a letter of administration or letters of administration is what they call them. And so once you get those, that basically gives you the authorization to act upon the behalf of that particular estate. So that means you can uh, manage the assets, um, also um, the creditors, as well as the sale of any real property, which is real estate, or the sale of personal property, which could be jewelry, um, cars, and other things that the deceased may have owned in their name. So once you have that, then what you will do is you will file a petition to sale to the court, to the probate court. And what this does is it notifies, it notifies the probate court that you want to sell this property. And so the probate court will reach out to those people who have been identified as the heirs or beneficiaries of that particular estate to let them know that you are planning to sell these particular things. And so once you do that, they are looking for any objections to come back from those individuals. And so they can come back and they can file an objection to the court to say they object to the sale of this particular item or items or whatever it may be. In this particular case, we're talking about the real property or the real estate. So therefore, they can object to that. Whether they object or if they don't object, it's up to the court to decide whether or not they want to have a hearing regarding the sale. And so that's how the, it really goes. And so in, in the result of the hearing, the court will tell you specifically what you need to do in order to sell that property. So if there is an objection or if there is not an objection, if there is a hearing or if there's not a hearing, the court is going to tell you what all you need to do um, in order to be following their protocol to sell that property. So once you have that and you have been authorized by the court to move forward with the sale of the property, then what you need to do is to be prepared to provide any documentation they may want to know about the appraisal of the property. They want to know how much you're selling it for, you know, how you're selling it. You know, in some cases you may sell it um, to an investor. Say for instance, the property needs some repairs that you're not able to do so you can't get market value for the property. Then you would want to perhaps sell to an investor, but you will need to be able to provide the details for that particular agreement 
to the courts. And if you're selling it on the open market in retail, then you will also provide those details to the court. So that's it. You need to ensure that you get letters of testamentary if you're the executor or letters of administration if you were appointed by the court to oversee this estate. I hope this was helpful. Again, I'm Laquita Joseph with Laquita Joseph Enterprises. If you need my services, please reach out to me. I can be reached at 770-363-3860 or you can DM me here on Facebook. It's okay. Um, I'll respond and um, I look forward to speaking with you guys again tomorrow as I continue my 21 day challenge. And by the way, I think today is my day eight. My numbers, my count of what days I'm on have been totally out of whack. But <laughs> today is day eight. Thank you and you all have a wonderful evening. Bye.